Hey everyone, welcome back. And we have got some humongous heroes here, <laughs> along with Hero right here. <laughs> Did you just flex? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, well, I am the Italian hero. After <laughs> this is all. true. This is true. <laughs> well, so we have it in um, human form and sandwich form today. So, <laughs> well, okay, I've already taken 8 million pictures of this thing. It yeah. is, I love it. Tell this me is what our, this is. This is our American version. It has uh, roast beef, ham, turkey. Oh, my uh, gosh. Two kinds of cheese, Look lettuce, tomato, that. red onions, and then we, we drizzle olive oil over it. That is awesome. And this is an American hero. Right. We call that one the American version. And I didn't, I'm sorry, I was so excited about the food. This is Chef Joe from Mulberry Street. Hello, everyone. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, now, we also do an Italian version, which we're going to build. But first, okay. I want to show you these little hot ones that we have. They're um, little strombolis. Strombolis. Yeah, and uh, the one thing about heroes is heroes in New York. I think it's subs and grinders and everything else. All the different names pogies, we have. Pogies, you know, all different things. Look at that. Um, what we do That's is awesome. we take a pizza dough. Oh, and we kind oh of my stuff gosh, it. yeah. So it has cheese in there. And, and this, this one, is hot. This is served hot. Right, well, this, it doesn't even have to be hot. I mean, I'd, no, I'd it could be warm cold. or cold. Yeah. You know, pizza's good cold. <laughs> Absolutely. So this one has artichokes, tomatoes, uh, sun-dried tomatoes, also some uh, prosciutto, the palma. Oh, beautiful. And then this one here. And I know that one has like a sesame seed on yeah, the outside. Yeah, I did it so I could tell the difference between uh, the two that, of them. <laughs> I do that with my kids this sometimes. One's, <laughs> this one's grilled vegetables and fresh mozzarella. Ah, mozzarella. and you know, meatless so there's Monday no meat. And is also, a big thing. one of the cool things is you can actually build these wow. Italian heroes inside those. And bake and it. Warm or it or bake warm it. it. Oh my gosh, let me put this over yeah, put that Look over at that. Look, I just got to hold this up real quick while you're, sure. you're going to start we're gonna building. We're going to actually make an Italian hero right now here. Okay, and what's this This bread? is a beautiful rustic olive jabata. Oh my gosh. And what I'm going to that olive right I'm going to put some olive oil on the bread. Mm. You want to put it on the bread because you don't want it to stay there. If you put it on top of the meat, it kind of just rolls it off. It rolls off. So, uh, and that's just not olive oil. You've got special secrets. Yeah, there's in herbs there. in there and garlic. Secrets. Uh, Brigittini, <laughs> ham. Brigittini, and I noticed there's a nice pepper yeah. on the outside there. It's crusted there. with pepper on the outside. Oh, delicious. And we're going to load this guy up. Should I move? Because I, I want them to all see what I'm seeing here. These hoagies, uh, that one right there weighs three pounds. Three pounds. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. <laughs> That um, is awesome. But this will feed like six people. Sure, we run a special for football season, you know, and okay. for parties. If you go in somebody's house, you want right. to bring something. Um, hot Capicola. I forgot where I was Love going. It. I'm sorry. I was so excited. But <laughs> wait, wait, I think um, special is um, a sandwich and two sides. Right, for $29.95. $29.95. And that will definitely feed six people. Sure. For sure. Absolutely. That's a great average right there. We have some slicing. Oh my gosh, I look aside and what's super this? Super <laughs> Okay, wait, so so far we put. Three different beautiful right, meats Right, we have here. the uh, Brigittini, peppered ham, ham capicola, or ham capigol, if capigol. you're from New York. Uh, super sod. We're going to put a little super bit. Super sod, super sod. It's like a dried sausage, a pretty dried, much. Okay, all right. Is it spicy? It is, a little bit. It has bit. a little kick to it, okay. Uh, provolone oh, cheese, of imported, of course. This looks so all right. delicious. Let's put a couple leaves of lettuce. And you're using romaine. Ro we use of romaine. romaine. It's, it's got a nice snap to it. You like that because it has, oh. Did you hear the snap? <laughs> I heard that snap. Fresh tomato. Oh my, nice and thinly sliced. Right. Beautiful. And we put a little roasted peppers. We can of put chili, cherry peppers on there too if you want a little more now, kick. Now, the cherry peppers are going to have the kick, but the roast peppers just has that yeah. nice it gives it a little peppery that flavor. Yep. Mm -hmm. without, and color. Without the bite. gorgeous. You're right. right, so we got it all put together here. Oh my gosh. Close that big boy up. And now, this, olives are my favorite. This is favorite. my lunch usually, oh, yeah. a little sandwich like this. <laughs> I love it. And then we'll just cut it. I'll cut a piece How out of here. How impressive. So you can see it. Oh my gosh. On a bias, of course. Yes. Bias fancy. Bias fancy word for let's see and, it all. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is gorgeous. And that's the Italian one right there. And as you can I mean, you can get a lot of sandwiches. Oh, can yeah, I look put at the that. American right next to it? Look here? at that monster. Oh my gosh. So you can just. I will do that later. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> Okay, also, wait, so these are the sides that Right, we have some uh, eggplant caponata. We have a Greek cucumber salad. That looks so good. Uh, pasta salad. Okay. These two are pretty plain. Potato salad. Plain because of the name, not the taste. Yes, absolutely. But but your classics right, right there. Coleslaw, handmade. Uh, we have some stuffed mushrooms, crab stuffed mushrooms, which we do a lot of hot, hot appetizers. Gotcha. So if, if I wanted, to, if I'm going over to someone's house, and it doesn't even have to be for football. This isn't something you right. only do for football. No, with like, the holidays coming up, you know, you may need some to have things like this. Or, absolutely. Or for uh, pharmaceutical reps going to doctor's exactly. offices. Exactly. Absolutely. You have um, small business meetings, maybe committee meetings. Sure. Think different things Anywhere like that. Anywhere where you want to walk in and be a superstar. And this is definitely going to be That's a wow. That's the way to do it. That's going to be a wow. Now, what we do also is um, we do a crab cake slider. Okay. And I know you do this at um, the, the festival seafood festival. Coming. Yeah, yeah, the festival's coming up. We've been doing it the last couple of years, and we usually serve that with lettuce and tomato on a okay. little slider. 
That looks delicious. And then what we do is we put a little bit of this harissa cream sauce on the top. Harissa. Now that isn't that's something that a lot of people know. Yeah, harissa is a North African pepper. Yes, which is completely different. It is, and it has a little bit of bite, but it's not very hot. Okay. You know, it's a little right. bit smoky, not quite like a chipotle. And that's that our little. That is different. I love that. That's our little that. crab cake slider. Oh, that looks good. Those are so awesome. Good. One bite, maybe two, it, if you don't have a big mouth like me. I could probably. I would make mine last though, you know, because yeah. it tastes so good. And they are. They're awesome. And the other version of our crab cakes, they're very popular around town in Bluffton. Right. Uh, we do the regular size crab cakes to take out as well as sausage and peppers, lasagna, okay. eggplant rollatini. And th now this is this is the market part now. The well, it's the restaurant market. In the restaurant, okay. The hot food always comes out of the uh, the restaurant. The restaurant, okay. And what I would do with this is Let's I would put just put a little... Here. Let's put a Are little pesto. Are we getting all this? Are we getting all these delicious things? Put a little things? pesto cream sauce over this oh, bad boy. Oh my gosh. This is actually like a pesto aioli. I love it. Which is kind of like a mayonnaise. You make it with oil and yeah. eggs. Yeah. I see, and for me, I and the crab cake is fantastic. Well, but then I would eat all of the like the lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's a little salad, you too. You got to try that. Oh, my god. Try gosh. that crab. I think, uh, you know, I went to school in oh, Rhode Island. Oh, stuffed in mushrooms. Right? Yeah, they're, uh, they're big on their crab cakes there. So, mm -hmm. you know, at Johnson mm. & Wales, we would have uh, crab cake competitions all the time. Absolutely. That is a winner for sure right there. So we'll be at the Seafood Festival Saturday and Sunday. I'll this down so I can say goodbye too. Um, we'll and be there of... serving sausage and peppers. Okay. For, uh, cannolis, which we did the last time. Of love course, it. we got to have mm -hmm. some dessert. <laughs> and then we'll be doing the crab cake sliders also. I love it. And then, of course, if you are you know, going to a party or going to an event or have a meeting coming up, please give them a call. Uh, $29.95. Look at these beautiful sandwiches. Those are custom made. Oh, and Absolutely. real quick, you can also pick the bread and everything that sure, you Sure, you can pick up the meat and bread if you want to build it yourself. And also we have our wine dinner starting. Our wine dinner is coming up at the end of the month and also the wine tasting started every other Wednesday. Um, every other Wednesday and that is um, That'll only be the $18. 31st. 18... $18, three appetizers, three different wines. Can't beat it. Please go visit Joe and his fantastic family over at Mulberry Street out in Bluffton and we'll catch you next time. Thanks, See you Joe. at Mulberry Street. <laughs>